Today, we're talking about a creature that doesn't always get the spotlight, because this show is all about celebrating the unsung heroes. This is underrated. Cue the intro. This is Kyle the Nile Monitor, and he would be a perfect example of something that would be called underrated. Just because Nile Monitors have a pretty terrible reputation, and as you might have seen on this channel, they're not as terrible as they might seem, right? They can actually be downright pretty cute and awesome and cuddly, right? As cuddly as a lizard will get. But this video is not about Kyle the Nile Monitor, although if you want to see that one, definitely drop it down in the comment section below. But this is about last week's video, which was the Octotank upgrade. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. It's a different style. I thought that it would be very fun to make a cinematic type thing. Everybody seemed to enjoy it. I'm gonna make more of those for sure. Please excuse the 10 pound lizard that's climbing up right now because he makes noise. But if you saw last week's video and you were like, hmm, I would love something like that, but I don't necessarily want to deal with the crickets, then I have the perfect substitute for you. So on this first episode of Underrated, we are going to be discussing the Bearded Dragon's cool African cousin, the Euromastix. They're similar in the fact that they require quite a big enclosure, you know, this is a 3 by 18 by 12, they don't requ require that much height, but they do require a lot of space, and just like the Bearded Dragon, they are also in the Agamid family. But these two species are all also very different from each other. The main example that I'm going to be bringing up is the diet because these guys, as you know, eat crickets and mealworms and stuff like that as you might have seen from last episode. But they can also eat leafy greens and veggies and fruits and stuff like that, right? But these guys only eat fruits and veggies. That's right, if you've ever wanted a bearded dragon but without any of the bugs, this is going to be your main option. Now, of course, you're not going to see them climb like Chipotle is doing right now on their branches and the setup is going to need to be different because this guy would definitely fall off of a lot of these perches. Now, of course, they're not all red. This is just a Nigerian red, but there's yellows and ornates, and there's even big ones that are way larger than a bearded dragon could ever get. They're actually as big as Edgar right there, right? So they're a very diverse group and they're very, very cool, but they're all gonna be herbivorous, which means vegetarian. I don't know what I prefer between the bearded dragon and the Euromastix. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments which is your favorite, but these guys are definitely more pocket-sized as well, right? So that's another positive if you don't want your child to have something that's huge in his room, right? This normally requires four by two by two. This is 36, 18, 12. You know, a bit more pocket-sized. And these guys are just as personable. The only kind of downside, but that's with both species, is that they're hot species. They're really arid. The, the heat lamp has to be very warm and the UV has to be very present. Otherwise they can have problems like Chipotle has a curved end of his tail. You guys don't really see it right now, but these guys need the same thing as well. High UV and high temperature basking spot. This guy is not the most personable one ever, but he does do a cool trick. If you guys want to see, boop, he goes on his back. And it's pretty cool, you know, they don't all do this, but this guy has been doing it pretty consistently in front of even the kids that we do birthday parties for, so pretty cool. And uh, they don't normally love doing that. You have to train them to do it, but they're pretty easily trainable. And they're not gonna be nippy, like this guy doesn't wanna bite at all. Uh, they might wanna whip the, their tail, but it doesn't really hurt that bad. Unless you're like a young child and you're afraid of these things, then it might startle you more than it's gonna actually gonna hurt you. It's a pretty inoffensive method of defense for us humans, but it does deter predators in the wild, right? Now, I've seen a lot of people say that Euromastics will hide a lot more than bearded dragons, and I haven't found that to be true. If you give them the right parameters and you really like lay the terrarium so that it's interesting, Thing and stuff, they shouldn't have any reason to spend all their time hiding. And don't be mad if they spend all their time hiding either. You know, like they're animals. You don't have to see them all the time and they don't have to put up a show for you. But look at this little guy right here. He's just hanging on, right? Cool little guy. And they're really cute as well. Like that's a cute lizard, right? Of course. And I don't know which you guys are going to prefer from this to a bearded dragon. Of course, bearded dragon is a bit bigger, but if you wanted a bigger Euromastix, you could get the big Egyptian ones, right? So there's still lots of choice, right? Uh, th with the big ones, you guys are going to need a much bigger terrarium than what I just said right there. Probably bigger than what Edgar is in right now. He's going to get an upgrade soon as well, right? So maybe like an eight by four by four for adult size. That's what I would recommend for an Egyptian Euro. But these guys, if you gave him a four by two, you know, it, it would be 
more than enough size. Like I, I haven't seen anybody get mad at people keeping them in 36, right? If you're in uncomfortable around insects or you don't want to go buy insects or you're just happy to feed your animal salad, but you don't necessarily want a green iguana because that's a commitment. That's not this, that's a commitment. And if you say all oh, herbivorous animals are boring, then you're boring. I think these guys are way cooler and worth it for the beginner keeper than a bearded dragon. Anyway, I'm gonna put this guy back and we're just gonna move on to some quick other news because we have some cool news. Whoa, 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 hold on a minute. I'm so sorry to interrupt your content, but did you know that 91.4% of you are not subscribed? I know, it seemed a bit high for me too. Please help me correct that statistic and let's get back to the video. There you go, Mushu, you've been a great help. Now you guys might have caught a glimpse of this news at the beginning. It's kind of an upgrade more than news, right? But this is an upgrade in Kyle's cage that we've been looking forward to do for a while now. We just hadn't found the right material for it yet, but we wanted to cover the entire back wall of Kyle's cage in fake plants. Now look at that guys. The only thing that's exposed is his window. And you know, he loves looking outside when the windows are open and the sun shines through in the morning and it's just one of his favorite things. So we wanted to keep that open, but the rest we thought might look better as plants than with just a blank wall behind. And I think it just makes the entire enclosure look so much cooler. I don't know what you guys think. Let us know down in the comments, but he certainly seems to enjoy it. We also put one of the panels up on the roof right there uh, to give them a bit more privacy and stuff, right? And also to retain the water when we miss because this stuff is great. It doesn't let the water go all the way through. So I can miss the entire back wall without the water going through and onto the actual wall. So that's gonna be better to prevent things like mold or whatever. We don't want to spray the actual drywall. That's not great, right? But this guy is enjoying it a lot. And as you can see, he just already wants to go back. So that's what we're gonna let him do. And we're gonna let him climb. He's got the cool little vines that's pretty new as well look at that it holds his entire weight he's got no problem going on it right and sometimes he uses the bottom one right here to climb down as well he is such a cute lizard look at that inquisitive beautiful boy right there that is a gorgeous Nile monitor and that is what concludes the rest of today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button because it really helps us out. Also hit that little bell because you'll be notified when we upload and that's the best way because when you watch the video soon after we uploaded it, it's way better for our chance of getting the video recommended. Also the first link in the description is the Discord server if you guys wanna join that. That is the Mystic Animals Inner Club and you guys know about everything in advance. Like these guys knew that we picked up this cool tank. These guys knew that we got a dog two weeks before the rest of you guys. These guys know everything and they get cool memes, a general hangout chat where we hang out and we talk about all kinds of things. Anyway, my name is Matt Zephyr. That's Roxanne behind the camera. Hi. We're Mystic Animals and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for checking out this video, everybody. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really loved it, why don't you subscribe? It's free, you know?